What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and in this video, we are checking out the Nighthawk M1 mobile hotspot router. Now, if you aren't already familiar, this thing is probably one of the most useful little gadgets you can have with you in your tech bag when you're traveling. And it might also be a great substitute to your home internet setup if you live in an area with not so great providers. Basically, this is an all-in-one, completely portable 4G LTE hotspot router with unlimited data and no throttling. And let me just say that again for the people in the back unlimited data, no throttling. If you're tired of getting overcharged for mediocre wireless packages from your smartphone carrier, or maybe you need a cheaper and more reliable hotspot setup for traveling or working on the go, or maybe you just need better internet at home, this is a really great little product that has tons of uses. This one I got from the folks over at Wireless Buy who sell both the router itself and the plan to go with it. I'll leave some links down below in the video description so you can learn a bit more about what they offer and maybe pick one up for yourself if you're interested. But let's go ahead and unbox this thing and I'll tell you all about what it can do. Inside the box, you've got the router itself, obviously, and you can see it's pretty compact. Not quite small enough for a pocket, but definitely not going to take up much space at all in a backpack or bag. You get an instruction booklet included as well, though you won't really need it since setup is really easy, and I'll go over all that in just a second. Digging a little deeper here, you'll see that there's some assembly required with this. You've got a 5040 milliamp battery, which will last all day, and then some with multiple devices connected. This pops right into the underside of the router with the bottom plate clicking into place there, and last but not least, we've got a charging brick and USB-C cable for keeping it juiced up. And I really like going with USB-C here. I think that was a great move. The service that Wireless Buy offers with their plan is T-Mobile, which works well here in Las Vegas, though I realize that speeds and coverage will vary depending on your location. Though the router is technically GSM unlocked, so you could theoretically use it with a different service as well. Powering on the router, you can see we've got a bright screen up front, which will display all the important information about data usage and connected devices. And around back, there's the USB-C charging port in the middle, an Ethernet port off to the right, which will allow for a wired connection if you want something more secure, and a standard USB port off to the left, which is used for both tethering and to charge a smartphone, tablet, or any other device you have with you, which is honestly a great little addition. So not only can this thing keep you connected, but it can also keep your device charged up as well. Inside, the SIM card gets inserted off to the left there, and there's actually also an SD card slot at the bottom as well, which is nice to see. And as far as the setup, it's a pretty straightforward process. Powering on the router for the first time, you'll need to connect to the default network, and the name and password are listed right there for you, so no QR codes or anything to scan or anything like that. After you're connected to the default network using the given username and password, you're then prompted to either download the Netgear mobile app, or head on over to the router website to finish the setup. For added security, you're first asked to change the default network password, of course, and after that, you're basically done. You can now connect up to 20 different devices to this router and use T-Mobile 4G LTE service anywhere you need it. The app itself lists much of the same information you'll also see listed on the router, including how much data you've used, how many days are left on your plan, battery percentage, and bars of service. Like I mentioned though, the plan is unlimited, so the amount of data you use is basically irrelevant, and it doesn't matter if you reach a certain amount either. It is 100% unthrottled, uninterrupted data at all times. The router itself has both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz network bands, and you can either set it up to broadcast both or one or the other. There are a few different info pages and settings you can mess with if you're a power user, but generally speaking, there isn't a whole bunch more you need to do here. If you want to connect a new device to the router, it works the same way as connecting any other Wi-Fi network, and that's it. You're good to go. The router itself retails for about 220 bucks, and plans start at $69 a month. And the upfront cost might seem a bit high, but you have to look at it this way. For what you're paying for your own service on your smartphones, you're almost certainly not getting unlimited data with no speed caps or throttling at that price. And you're likely not getting internet tethering for other devices either. With this device here, you're getting the whole package with no limitations, and you can connect as many devices as you want, basically. Laptops, tablets, smartphones, and anything else. And for individuals who live in an area where a broadband internet connection is a bit unreliable, this might be a great alternative alternative to stay connected to. I think all in all, for business folks or frequent travelers or any individuals who need to have multiple devices connected on the go, this is a really solid investment and I definitely recommend checking it out if you're in the market. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the Nighthawk M1 in the comments down below and if you have any questions about it. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys later.